We live in a world today surrounded by technology and innovation. Phones, laptops, electric cars, and space exploration. As a race, we really have made a shift in the last century that is hard to keep up with. And although we are far from perfect, we do have a lot to be proud of. But one thing we are lacking in is architecture. While we are building bigger, taller, and fancier, things are usually constructed as cheaply and as fast as possible. If we stopped in our tracks today, many of our structures would not stand the test of time. Take things back a few thousand years ago, however, and things seem to have been done differently. The Bent Pyramid of Sneferu, for example, argued at being over 4,000 years old and still standing strong. Or the Sehute Monolith, a huge rock sculpture depicting over 200 mysterious carvings. But while mystery still stands as to how these structures were built in the first place, their dates and purposes often come under discussion. So let's take a step back in time and explore five of some of the most mysterious ancient structures and buildings from around the world. Sit back and enjoy. Arabian Stones. With the advent of new technology, many facets of the earth have been discovered or strictly speaking, rediscovered. The creation of Google images of the planet have provided many interesting features that had previously not been observed. As recently as October 2017, whilst utilizing the Google Earth software, archeologists working in Saudi Arabia confirmed that they had found some 400 mysterious stone structures. They lay on the side of a volcano in the middle of Harat Kabar, an ancient volcanic field in the central Arabian desert. They have since been dubbed the gate due to the way they are laid out, but their purpose has baffled experts as there appears to be no reference to them in ancient Arabic texts. This has led one of the team who discovered them to call the stones the oldest man-made structure to date. With such a recent discovery, it may well be many years before a number of theories will be put forward to explain their existence. Although similar structures have been identified in the past, and these are said to have agricultural or irrigational purpose, but as of yet, the Arabian stones are still largely unsolved. Teotihuacan. This ancient Aztec city, found 25 miles north of the Mexican capital, holds a very mysterious secret. The vast ruined city, with the number of pyramids and palaces, was inhabited by the Aztecs around 1500 years ago. Indeed, it was thought to be the largest city in the whole of the Americas, before the advent of the New World with its population estimated to be over 150,000. Yet the strange fact about Teotihuacan is that it was not even built by the Aztecs. They simply discovered the site and began to inhabit it. So who actually built the enormous structures? While it's believed to have been built around 500 years before the Aztecs arrived at the abandoned city. So difficult was it for the Aztecs to understand how such a place could exist. They named it Teotihuacan which translates as the place of the gods, as in their eyes, no man could possibly have created it. The site has been comprehensively studied by archeologists and who built it is still not known. But despite its great historical significance, the area has come under threat from proposed developments. As recently as 2004, a Mexican governor granted planning permission to a global company to build a large retail store in the area. We can now only hope that this never moves forward, as the mysteries of this fascinating place would be demolished forever. The Bent Pyramid of Sneferu. The mention of the word pyramid, and instantly an image of the three famous Egyptian structures at Giza spring to mind. Yet throughout the ancient world, pyramid structures are quite a common occurrence. One of the lesser known of these is the Bent Pyramid of Sneferu, Built some 4,500 years ago, during the reign of the old kingdom pharaoh, Sneferu. These pyramids can be found in Dasha, 40 miles south of Cairo in Egypt. Incredibly, predating its famous counterparts by a few hundred years. The Sneferu pyramid has a significantly different appearance. The pyramid rises from the desert at 54 degrees, giving rise to the description of being bent. It's a mystery whether this was a deliberate plan to avoid the collapse of the structure due to possible instability at the site, or whether the impending death of the pharaoh 
meant that completion had to be amended in order to be ready to act as his tomb. This pyramid is also unique in that its limestone exterior cladding is almost entirely intact. It's thought that the way the building was constructed has resulted in it maintaining the outer casing and thereby avoiding the erosion that other pyramids have experienced. As with the Giza pyramids, how this giant was built is still largely debated. Sea of Galilee Monument Deep below the waters of the Sea of Galilee, and only discovered through a sonar survey, as recently as 2003, lies a huge collection of rocks and boulders. The rocks, some up to 3 feet long, are piled into what appears to be a giant cairn, 32 feet high, with a diameter of 230 feet. Divers have discovered that although the basalt boulder have no chisel marks or any other signs that they have been shaped, especially for a purpose, the way that they have been laid proves that they have been deliberately placed here, as no such shape occurs like this naturally. It's thought that the stones may well have been placed on land, with a gradual rise in water levels eventually leading them to be completely underwater. The area is noted for several examples of Neolithic structures, but the result and purpose of this particular one remains unknown. Many have theories as to their origin, with some believing it's the remains of an ancient civilization. What's your thoughts? Sehute Monolith Ancient structures would have a wide and varied purpose. Through the passage of time, the reasons these structures were created has been lost. The Sehute Monolith that can be found near the city of Abanque in Peru is certainly no exception to this. This huge rock appears as a sculpture featuring over 200 different carvings of mysterious geometric figures and zoomorphic creatures appearing to depict cats, frogs, and a variety of reptiles. The ideas for its construction are of course numerous and conflicting. The area where the monolith lie is recognized as being a noted site for the worship of water by the Inca tribe. With this information, a strong theory suggests that the carving is a topographical hydraulic model, showing possible waterways and irrigation systems between the carvings. The monolith remains a very popular tourist site today, and is still an important feature of the Incan culture. And in the future, new technology may be used to increase our understanding of the Incan Empire. 